What's up, y'all? This is Rocket Rider 510, and I just flew the drone again. And today, I wanna ask, will having a drone business make flying less fun? And it's Rocket Man! Oh my lord, what are the chances? Just wanna watch them stars fall But you don't wanna try to make up dreams Just to be seen I wanna lay here beside you Oh quiet Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know it's where we go I grow wings and tell her goodbye oh, It's not what we see It's what we choose to be So as y'all see, your boy just took the Mini 3 Pro up. It's been a while since I flew the drone just for fun. So that was kind of refreshing. Because lately, if you've been watching the last few videos, they've all been filmed while I was on a drone job. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to keep doing that. <laughs> and plus again, I just wanted to come out here and fly off the clock. So just thinking about having fun and enjoying flying this thing. Damn, all these cars is gonna fuck up my face. So having all these drone jobs has made me consider and question, if you was doing this full time, would you get tired of flying? You know what I mean? Because if you're flying every day and, and driving all around, just like any hobby, if you turn your hobby sometimes into a career or a job, it could be less fun. So I started questioning would I have that problem with drones because I really do enjoy flying these drones, obviously. And to get paid to do what we do right now is uh, I feel really lucky about that. So yeah, your boy been on a run with these drone jobs lately with these Zite view missions. Ever since I've been getting the mapping jobs, uh, they've just been coming through. I actually had to turn down more than I accepted. And it looks like my exposure's fucked up on this. Fuck it, I'm gonna take again. <laughs> but yeah, I had to turn down more than I accepted. Yeah, just even yesterday, I had a little mission over there in San Francisco. And it was nice scenery because it was over there on the coast. Great sunny day after we've had a lot of rain. So again, I was just enjoying flying and having the nice views, people walking around. I actually had a lot of people questioning me about flying and what I was doing and, oh, you're getting paid to fly a drone. And it, it, it did kind of amaze me that how many people don't know that you can get jobs flying drones. And so, yeah, I just kept going along, doing my thing. Like I'm saying, enjoying the flight, enjoying the scenery, seeing the Golden Gate Bridge in the background and all that with a nice little rising shot with the, the hills in the foreground. It gave me a little parallax. It was pretty cool. before that maybe a week before that I had another job over there in the city and really anytime I go over there I try to uh, get as much b-roll and footage 
as I can because I don't get to do that very often. I don't, get, I don't get over there very often. It's kind of a pain in the ass, like I've said before. And so while I was on that job, this one was down towards where the old Candlestick, Candlestick Park used to be, where the 49ers and uh, Giants used to play. And so that's a cool little waterfront area where you can see like the whole bay, see a lot of the bay from there. So before or either after the shoot, I always try to get a little B-roll. Make sure I come away with some nice little footage and plus kind of enjoy myself. But even doing those jobs, I still kind of enjoy myself because I like being a little more technical with the flying. Doing the drone jobs give you a little more of a direction. Cause like right now when I'm coming out here and I'm, I'm just flying for fun, but I'm also flying for B-roll for the videos. Sometimes flying randomly and just uh, just to have fun, you don't necessarily hone your skills like that because you don't have direction. You're not trying specific maneuvers. Like I had one where in Richmond where I was on this building and it was really tight quarters. And with the, the drone moving around like that, it was a little bit nervous and, and, and it really made you pay attention to your uh, sticks and, and, and be on top of everything. And so I don't think you necessarily get that when you're flying uh, just for fun. That's why I'd always encourage you guys to go check out some of those videos that teach you some basic flying skills and, and have some drills that you can do to kind of uh, hone your skills a little bit. So you guys hit me in the comments below. Matter of fact, if you're a professional or do this as full time and leave a comment below and let me know, has your job taken the fun out of flying? For me, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I don't fly nowhere near enough. I, have, I don't have nowhere near enough jobs to uh, make me get tired of it so far, but I do wonder while I'm fantasizing about doing this full time, will I get tired of doing it? Either way, like I'm saying, I'm getting paid to practice and I'm just honing my skills. So when I do get to the big leagues, your boy, I had them skills lined up. But yeah, let me hurry up. It was a, a, a damn cop just rode by a little minute ago and there's actually no parking right here. I shouldn't be out here, but this year had the nice scenery. I wanted to, I've been wanting to fly from right here. Y'all saw how you had the whole bay right there uh, in these shots. So that's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And the rest of my YouTube vocalizations, y'all hit the thumb nuts. This is Rocket Rider 510. Having fun with the drone again. And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Burrsh.